Okay, let's start build our first application. Let's go to new project. <clears throat> we select the first one basic activity. Click next and give it a name 05 and make sure the language is Java. Click finish. Now you can see it's a be begin to build the project. Okay, after two minutes, it finished build. And let's go to the resource layout. And we click, double click the activity main. Now we can see the force arrow message, okay? So double click that, you will see the details. No speakable text present, okay? Okay, so the first arrow message, no speakable text present, okay? So you click fix. You don't need to click fix actually. So actually, you need to find uh, because it said uh, Android content description. Okay, so it's empty string. So we go to here attributes search content. So. So you can see the content description is empty. So you can put any word because it's an email. Let's put email here, press enter. And if we go back, we can see the message is hard code text, okay? <clears throat> Let's expand that. You will see the fix button here, click it, and it will pop up another window. See, need resource name, okay? So I will give the resource name to email to me. And uh, okay, let's, let's use capital, okay? Email to me, okay? Resource value, email, okay? So just click OK, then the error message will not show up anymore. Actually, this is uh, what it's doing is uh, add a line to value strings. Double click that. And you can see here the last line, they add email to me and the value is email. They add this line to the strings.xml line. So you can directly add this one to there. And then <clears throat> let's go back. OK, let's go back to activity 9. You can see here, after you add those lines to the strings.xml, you need uh, enter add string, backslash, and uh, email to me here, then you fix the problem, OK? So the easiest way is uh, like what I did previously to, do, uh, to fix the problem, OK? Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.